Now, if you're colourblind, <clears throat> then some professions might seem out of your reach, thankfully not journalism. <laughs> this surprised me, however. You can fly a plane, apparently, but possibly not for much longer. To tell us why, we're joined by Arthur Pape, who is colourblind and has his pilot's licence. He also heads up the Colour Vision Defective Pilots Association. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning, Francis. Now, tell us about this, because I'm one of, I, I imagine, plenty of people who have the misconception that people who are colourblind cannot fly planes, but apparently there are hundreds of people who do that. Uh, yes, in Australia we've got a, a long track record of um, uh, challenging the aviation colour perception standard, uh, culminating 25 years ago in two landmark uh, administrative appeals tribunal proceedings, which we won convincingly. And since then, we've developed a cohort of colour defective pilots, uh, some 400 odd professional pilots and over a thousand private pilots who are um, performing safely and without incident. So what are the risks of being colour blind <coughs> and being a pilot? Well, I don't believe there are any. Um, the track record of colour blind pilots in Australia is an excellent record. And around the world, there has never been an accident that's been attributed to somebody's defective colour vision. What sort of planes can you as a colour blind pilot fly and, and what can't you fly at the moment? Um, the, there are severely coloured defective pilots who are captains of every imaginable type of airline aircraft. Uh, the, the Airbus type aircraft and the Boeings in Australia. Okay, so there's, there's no limitation. So, so what exactly is CASA, the aviation regulator, trying to do here? Well, there are some complex uh, testing procedures and we have a pilot called John O'Brien who uh, hadn't passed all the required tests and he was going to challenge that in the Administrative Appeals Tribunal uh, on the basis that the testing was irrelevant to performance. Uh, however, CASA, having seen the evidence that we wish to present in that case, uh, have reacted aggressively and rather, I say, hysterically in uh, sending out letters to aviation medical examiners, to pilots themselves and their employers uh, citing uh, new scientific evidence which we've taken a look at and there is nothing in what they say uh, suggesting that colourblind pilots perform any less safely than those with normal colour vision. And has there been much research in this area to try to say once and for all whether there are any risks? Because obviously safety is a major concern when you're talking about flying. Safety is a major concern to us as well. Uh, every professional pilot is devoted to maintaining safety. The research has never been conducted uh, definitively to, to draw the conclusion that colour defective pilots pose any safety risk. So what do you see up there? I mean, are we talking about uh, it all coming into land, you know, red, amber, green? I mean, what, what colours? <coughs> uh, I'm assuming they're fairly bold primary colours you're dealing with. Uh, what colours do you have to grapple with as a pilot uh, on flights? Well, the, the, we say that the colours used in aviation in both signal lighting and in cockpit displays are neither sufficient nor necessary for the pilot to obtain the information that he really requires, such as the rate of climb or the airspeed or the engine temperature or the fuel flow. The critical or, stuff, the important stuff. Yes, yeah. there, well, there are no instances where colour recognition per se is required to perform safely. And is that because um, whether any instruments or lighting has a colour, then you can determine what order they come in and that, that's how you recognise what the signal is? Well, colour is a single element within a very complex display array. Mm. Uh, and there are many, many redundancies in the aviation environment uh, such that uh, you could lose the colour entirely and still be able to fly safely. I quite like this. As a colourblind person, I might take up flying, Arthur. Good, good. Give him a few lessons. <laughs> uh, I suggest you do, Mike. Although nobody wants me behind the cockpit of a plane. <laughs> Trust me. Listen, we wish you well in your, uh, your battle with uh, CASA and uh, fly well. Thank you. Thanks very much, Arthur.